I have a very, very special video that I will attempt today. I will be doing this install myself as I have failed you guys on the last install. So now I have to redeem myself. And boys and girls, here she is. You ready? I've been ready? ready since yesterday. You didn't show me. Ooh! Ooh! Lord! Uh, you like that? I think it looks dope. How is it going, guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today, today, if you're paying attention to my last video, I have a very, very special video that I will attempt today. Uh, because I didn't attempt it in the last video. Now, if you caught the last video, I went ahead and got these six piston Brembo brakes, as you can tell by the brake dust that these inevitably cause, installed, and they have been working very well. As you order one mod, eventually more of them follow, right? That's exactly how it goes. So, in this video, I have ordered, da 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 da, are y'all ready? Ooh, an NP Concepts front splitter for my car. So, you know, not too much of a huge reveal, but it is very important. Now it is bigger than the factory one. Here, I'll show you guys the factory one. I do not have a performance pack, so it is not bigger. It is the small one. But basically guys, I will be doing this install myself as I have failed you guys on the last install. So now I have to redeem myself by putting a splitter on. Say hi to Danny. What's up, Danny? You don't like the camera. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is very rainy outside and dark. But luckily, in the garage, it is nice and dry. We are on a flat surface, so I could take as long as I need on this install. Hopefully, it won't be too long. Let's pray. The install for this is fairly easy. You just have to jack the car up, or you can't lift it. I do not have a lift, so I will be jacking the car up. And basically, all you gotta do is remove a bunch of seven millimeter bolts, several of them, as well as some push pins, get the old one out, and get the new one in. So, sounds fun. Here it is, guys. As you can see, all of the holes that are on it. FedEx did an amazing job making sure the box was nice and crumbled up before I even got it. But, you know, what can you do? Let's go, guys. The build continues, and I'm going to put you guys down, and I am going to get to work. I will see you guys in a bit. boys and girls we have finished lifting the car up and I'm sweating bullets already just because it's nighttime doesn't mean that it's not humid Lord Jesus but yeah she's looking pretty good up there look at her oh yeah we're back to factory suspension yes sir back to factory Lord Did you imagine but um yeah she's up so now it's all about taking off the old one hopefully that process won't be a mess I'm ready Let's go ahead and get do this, guys. See you in a bit. There they go, packing stadiums and shady spitzes flow. Nuts they go, macadamia they go, so ballistic woe. He can make them look like bozos, he's wondering if he should spit this slow. Fuck no, go for broke, his cup just runneth over, oh no. He ain't had him a bust like this since the last time that he overdosed. They've been waiting patiently for Pinocchio to poke his nose. Back into the game and they know rap will never be the same as before. Boys, we done it. One splash shield later. What is this? Soundproofing. Cool. Splash shield is off. So far, it's going to plan. All right, boys, status report. The splash shield is off. And uh, yeah, as predicted, Ford holds everything together by uh, Christmas tree clips and seven millimeter bolts. Don't even get me started about the 10 millimeter. So far, everything is going to plan. I'm excited. We're making progress. <laughs> I will tell you guys, I am not a professional, okay? So this is not an instructional video. I'm not making an instructional video and showing you guys piece by piece how to do it, because I'm telling you guys, I have the littlest knowledge of what I'm doing, okay? I helped my friend take off his front bumper and his fender video here. And yeah, I don't know. Lord, a good, nice little look. The mud flaps came off as well. 
So I have to put those back on at some point or not. What Mustang needs fl mud flaps? Well, that's, that's, that's really ghetto. No, no, no. I'm putting them back on. I'm putting them back on. All right, boys, we've done it. I am out of breath because the hardest thing to get off are the Christmas tree pins that hold this entire car together. They're so annoying, they're stupid. Anyway, after this install, don't let these scare you. There are, I believe I saw another video, uh, a little more than 30 all together. Do not let them scare you at all, but with that being said, here's the old one, and here's the new one. You can really see a size difference. Huge, huge size difference. Nice, I think we did a good job. As for the car, she's looking very bare. You know, I'm glad they put the little one on. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but Lord Jesus. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the new one, to see what it looks like. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, a guy that has pretty much close to minimal to nothing experience with cars and mechanics, all right, just knowledge of them from going to shows and stuff, but uh, mechanic-wise, very zero, I was able to get this off, okay? Now, it did take a little bit longer than expected, but I was able to get it off. So this just shows you anybody can do it. If I do it, anybody can do it. I know they say that, but listen, I'm the very bottom of the barrel. I'm pretty sure they would rather ask a homeless guy to help them with their car before they ask for my help, so. <laughs> okay, so, the next step is to take these U-nut clips, these metal ones that are on the stock one and transfer them over to the new one as the mounting points are still the same. Once again, guys, I'm just saying this to say smart. I am watching Justin or whoever's on American Muscle uh, install these as we speak. So, this whole video is to just show you that I can do it. The simplest little install. I am able to do it. <laughs> oh, I hope we see the end of this video tonight. We will see, boys. All right, back to the montage. I'm so happy, oh, happy, very lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries don't agree. Things that bother. All right, so all of the unit clips are now transferred over. The placement of them is very good, and they are the exact as the OEM. So that really does make me happy and hopeful. Everything else is looking good and promising. It will all be worth it when we see the finished product, all right? She will be looking good. She will be looking amazing. And we will have the job done, boys and girls. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's start putting her back in reverse. I see my body in a different light. I, 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 as if I woke up in a different life. I, 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 feels like I'm walking with my heart on fire. Somebody pass me the water, cause I'm burning. Cause a little bit turning into a lot. There's no way I'll be turning the feeling off. Guess I'm everything that I thought I was not. Tell me, tell me. If y'all wanna know the hardest part of this install, it is definitely 100% the push pins, all right? The seven millimeter bolts, no problem. Absolutely no problem. They go in, they work, they're awesome. Zero problems. But these little plastic push pins that basically holds the whole car together, you see them everywhere in the trunk, in the hood, the splitter, the side, everything. These plastic push pins hold it all together. And if you break it or you misuse it or you don't put it in the right way, they do not fit and they mess up the whole thing. So you don't know how many different push pins I've had to try that weren't as broken to try to get it in there. But 
that's a Ford thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure other automakers do it too, but it just sucks. It just really sucks. The lighting is so good at night. But overall, I am decently impressed with my work. I think I'm doing good. Uh, my first time ever doing a splitter. And I feel like it's not that bad. So I don't have to take off the whole front bumper. If I would have had to take off the whole front bumper, go into the shop. Would have had to take it to the shop. Not doing it. Mm -mm. Nope. But that's it, guys. I'm going to try to put you guys in a different location. Try to finish up this. And then we'll get it what it looks like when it's down on the ground. Let's begin. and girls here she is I've got her down I've got her all put back together as you can see the tray is empty that is always a good sign I know a lot of people that it's not that situation <laughs> but that's it let me get you from the side angle right here by the end of the week I did order some of these vents right here but in black because I really like this design this honeycomb design it matches the rest of the grill as you can see so i did order me a pair of black ones and they should be coming in and i think they will substitute this new grill very very well i am super happy about how it came out awesome thank you guys so much for watching this is not the end of the vlog i will show you guys more tomorrow <laughs> but it's almost two o'clock in the morning i started at like 9 9 30. thank you american muscle one hour install never 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 easy it is never ever easy the next clip should be tomorrow when I show you guys what it looks like outside and how my first day with it goes. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. I have a lot of confidence that it will not fall off. It did take 30 or more, a little bit more than 30, seven millimeter bolts to hold it in. So I know it's not going anywhere, all right? Maybe with a little bit of speed, a little bit of wind, it'll crack together, it'll go together. We'll see. Other than that, guys, yep, I will see you guys Technically today, because it is almost 2 in the morning. So, technically, I will see you guys today. What is going on guys? Today is Saturday, all right? It is two days after the previous clip, all right? Ended up becoming really busy and tired because of that whole install that pretty much took all night. So today is Saturday, it is the weekend, so now I have time to fully review the splitter. As you can see behind me, if you guys are wondering, this is my friend's Mustang, my friend Jake's. I'll pop his YouTube channel right here. All right, he's on vacation currently and he left me his beautiful Mustang. He thought, well, you know, he has a Mustang. I'm pretty sure he knows how to take care of one. So he left me his S197 and I will be making a video about it shortly, or at least I plan to, so stay tuned. But for the topic of discussion, it has been two days since the install. So that gave me a, a legit amount of time to go ahead and test it out, see how it is. And I will tell you guys, I have went 60 with it. I really have been staying in the city. I didn't really try anything faster than that, but it is holding up extremely well. Let me show you. And here she is, boys. Now I did decide to park it over here in the grass to make it look a little bit lower than it actually is. All right, grass are really good with that if you guys are ever taking photos. But here it is. And two days after the install, she is still looking beautiful. And yes, guys, I did promise the hood vents and I did put them on so black hood vents oem from a black mustang i think they look amazing i think they look really good gloss with the honeycomb design they match the grill perfectly i think overall it is a really good choice and it makes the car look so mean and so aggressive all right guys so you guys have seen it tell me how you guys like it tell me you guys i'll leave a link for it in the description mp concepts front splitter for the mustang um i think it looks crazy i think it looks good now the only thing left to do in this video is y'all have seen my girlfriend sandra i want to get her reaction to this front splitter now she has seen it 
uh, the day after I put it on, but she has not seen it with the black hood vents. So it is now complete. It is now done. Everything that I've wanted to do with this small project has been finished. So I want to get her full reaction. She does work on the weekend, so she's about to be home in a few minutes, and I really want to get her reaction. Now, she's not a very, like, you know, excitable person, but I do want to hear what she thinks about it, okay? Because she does see this car a lot, all right? So I'm very excited. Um, I love the way it looks. I think it definitely made it better, 10 times better, if not 20 times better, all right? Because why not, 20 times. But that's it, guys. Next clip, it should be Sandra when she's reacting to it. Hopefully, she'll be home soon because I am running out of battery on this camera. So I'll see you guys. Hi. Hi, tell them hi, tell them what's up, tell them hi. Hello. You ready to see the car? You ready to see the car? Yes. Do it didn't get, do it. Do we get the witness an explosion? It didn't do it. Ah, oh, boo boo. You ready? You ready? I've been ready? ready since yesterday. You didn't show me. Yeah, because I wanted to film it. Alright. How excited are you? I'm excited. Yes. I'm also excited. Alright, what you think it's going to look like? Black. Black? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Almost. Almost. Wait, I can't see it from the reflection. Woo! Ooh! Lord! I like that. Uh huh. Now you just gotta get the hood black. Not the hood, the roof. I gotta get the roof black. That's a good idea. I really like that. I like you really that like lot. that? I think it looks dope. Was it hard? It was super easy. So easy, in fact, I didn't think it was worth the, uh, putting it in the video. You literally lift the, you lift the hood up, you take off the little foam guard. After you take off the foam guard, you just unscrew a few uh, bolts that hold it together on the bottom, and that's it. So, <clears throat> super easy install. I, I didn't think it was worth the video. Anybody oh can do God, it. Oh God, there's barely any room right here. Yes, yes, yes. She is low, low, low. But put your foot, put your foot, put your foot. Yes, sir. Yes, don't. Uh, yeah, you it was installed by a professional, don't you know? Is this like the same pattern? Completely? That's why I got it, because it's, it's the same honeycomb as the grill. But is it the same as the old one? Uh-huh. Like, I'll show you the old one. You want me to show you the old one? Yeah. All right, so these are the old ones. I wrapped them up exactly how I, how they were wrapped up when I got them. I'm just planning on putting them away, maybe selling them. If y'all want them, let me know. But here are the old ones, see? Same design, same everything. See, this one kind of brings it out. Like, hey, you know there's a vent right here. The old one was like, oh, look, there's a vent. I didn't even notice. But this one is like, hey, yeah, there's definitely a vent. I like it. So that's it. Next, maybe I'll paint the roof black. Not paint it, wrap, because I don't want to paint it. But uh, it's a great idea. And uh, yeah, the build just keeps going. The build is going, just keep on going. <clears throat> but that's it. So I'm gonna wrap this back up in a second. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for the build, for watching the build. I was able to put on a splitter successfully, okay? I cannot put on brakes, but I could definitely put on a splitter. So with that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite. I don't even think that's the thing you can do no more. And uh, I'll see you later.